Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're going to be checking out the December 5th, 2023 ban list update that they got going on for uh, Master Duel. Uh, you can check it out at GameA.co. I'm going to be leaving all the links down in the description below for the references that I'm going to be using. But ultimately, let's get into it. A new ban list update is on the way for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Taking effect on December 5th, 2023. Check here for all the details on what cards are being forbidden limited semi-limited and unlimited this is a contest we got a bunch of contests that are going to be popping off December 5th 2023 ban list update the changes made to the list reflect Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel aim of preventing decks from being too difficult to counter and ensuring the game's tactical element is not compromised by overly short and one-sided duels which it has been because a good majority of people over our master duel are all looking for that OTK. Everybody wants to run OTK. They've actually been able to manage Kashira where it's still able to do the OTK even though it's been limited for a minute, right? Uh, the following cards will have their uh, restrictions change following schedule update on December 5th, 2023. So be ready for the 2023 update. Uh, Math Mech Dementor. The effect card you go master do read on to see more about the card. Uh, when this card is normal summoned, you can target one level four Cyberies monster in your graveyard, special summon it, but it cannot activate its effects. Uh, this card that was Synchro or XZ summoned it using this card on the field as material gains the following effects. Once per turn, during the turn, the card was special summoned. When your opponent activates a card or effect, quick effect, you can negate the, that effect. You'd only use the effect once per turn, right? So that's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty dope. Uh, it's a it's a good effect. But how is that actually really gonna affect the play? For when you end up looking down here and you're looking, we got CNET mining, CNET mining, whatever, chaos space, and uh, part of desires. These three cards, a good majority of them, plus lab uh, the labyrinth stove, Torby like all falls within the same kind of category right because you're able to play them essentially together being able to uh, pull out cyberies type monsters and stuff like that where it helps you throughout the duel but like the pull rate increases throughout right especially if you have a have a bunch of cards in there that are able to help you along next we got the runic fountain which is like i don't really know why it's been limited so like, send one card from your hand to the graveyard, add one level 4, lower cyber uh, monster from your deck to your hand, you can only activate this card once per turn, right? Oh, where is it, where is it, where is it? Runic Fountain, you can activate Runic quick play spell cards from your hand during your opponent's turn once per turn. If you activate a Runic quick play spell card, you can target up to three Runic quick play spells in your graveyard, place them on the bottom of the deck in any order, then draw the same number of cards. Now imagine having three of those in your deck, and then you can play them one after another from your hand, you know what I'm saying? It's a little bit different uh, from Master Duel to TCG to OCG, realistically. Uh, you see, look, TCG, you can run two. OCG, you can only run one. And also in uh, Master Duel, you can only run run one, which kind of makes sense to me. It does. It makes sense to me because you only need you only need it for the one time. I could see people trying to use it continuously just to like big up their decks. I understand the concept behind it, but it's like we're trying to have fun playing a duel in Master Duels. Like I understand the competitiveness and all that behind it, but come on, man! Everybody got to have a little bit of a turn, right? So, Labyrinth Stove, Torby, Quick Effect, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. And this card, this card, one card, set one Labyrinth Spell Trap from your hand or deck. If a monster leaves the field by your normal trap effect while this card is in your graveyard, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card. You can only use each effect of this card once per turn. So again, like, that's cool. TCG. You got three, OCG, you got three. I've seen it played before where there was three. There was three of this. Three of this. Can you still run three? TCG ended up 
bumping that down. It was a couple months ago, and then three of this as well. But TCG still runs it as three. And I've seen it play before. It's actually a really good card to have in your deck if that's uh, the route that you're trying to go for, your uh, Fiend Effect deck kind of thing. And then Pearly's got hit. They got hit. TCG, OCG, Master Duel, they got hit pretty much across the board. Right, so Pearly, Delicious Memory, makes one monster out of the field, unable to be destroyed by battle until the end of the next turn. Then you can detach one card, and if you do special summon one level one Pearly monster from your deck, a Pearly XZ monster that has this card as material gains this effect, gains 300 attack defense. So, like, people were using it to big up the Pearlies, right? 300 per, 300. Where is it? Gains 300 attack defense for each material attached to it. And people are going all out attaching like 10, 12 materials to a pearly, right? So I understand. I get it. And I'm surprised that they're only lowering it to two because in TCG it's one. Uh, it was three. I'm, I understand bringing it down one. It's, it's not too bad. It won't affect the deck too much. It's just you got to find another card to replace that. Ash Blossom. I'd Ash Blossom. And then we also have Pearly. If this card is normal or special summon, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck. And if you do, you can add one excavated Pearly spell trap to your hand. Also place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. Once per turn, you can reveal one Pearly quick play spell in your hand. And if you do special summon one XZ monster that mentions it from your extra deck. By using this face up card, you control as material. Uh, and if you do attach the reveal card to the summon monster as additional material, this is treated as an XZ summon. Right, so I, I get why they're bringing it down, but OCG, TCG are keeping it threes, which is really good for pearly players that are actually playing in OCG, TCG, mostly TCG. Um, because pearly is a really, really utilized strong deck, right? And it's, it's kind of diminished in TCG. Because if you were able to play two, it'd be a lot more attack. Where you guys have seen on stream before where it's like we got it up to like, I don't know, what was it? Like 10k, over 10k, 13k or something like that attack. And that's because we had three of these. Right? So like Pearly kind of got nerfed a little bit. But, you know, you can just replace those two cards with an Ash Blossom. Unless you end up running Ash Blossom already in your deck. You can use uh, Max C if you wanted to. Mirror Force, whatever it is that you feel like. Depending on what's on the limited list. And I understand that uh, Chaos Space. Really, really dope card. Yeah, a while ago, TCG knocked it down to one. Right, like a little while ago, I played in a couple events where people were running three of these in a deck. And it's like, bro, there's no way that you're able to flip cards. And like play it's like they're playing solitaire just to get rid of your po your life points pretty much running this card in threes right it's cool that they knocked it down to two i feel like it should st it should be down to one ocg i don't know what's going on over there they have different format different rules <laughs> why you'd be able to play three i don't get it send a light or a dark monster from your hand uh to the graveyard add one light or dark whoops add one light or dark monster that cannot be normal summon set from your deck to your hand with a level from four to eight and with a different attribute than that monster. Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard then target one of your banished light or dark monsters that cannot be normal normal summon set. Place that monster on the bottom of the deck and draw one card. You can only use the effects of this card once per turn. So like, it's a really good card for a good majority of decks. Especially if you're running light or dark monsters, dark magicians, blue eyes, so on and so forth. Kashira really u utilizes this uh, quite a bit in their deck. There's quite a few decks. It's a really good card. You could essentially, it runs with all decks, but the most powerful decks usually had like three of these in there. It's cool that they're knocking it down to two. I feel like it should be down to one, but that's my opinion. Let me know your opinion down in the comments below. And quick launch. Special summon one. Oh yeah, okay. So for the rocket monsters, I kind of get it, but everything across the board is three. Uh, just taking one out, it's not too bad. You could actually replace it with like a field or something like that. Special summon a rocket monster from your deck, but it cannot attack. Also destroy it during the end phase. So like you don't, I don't feel like they really needed to nerf this card. 
just due to the fact of what it does. Like, you special summon a rocket monster from your deck, it can't attack, and then it gets destroyed by the end of the phase. Right? I understand, okay, you pull it, let's say you have a monster reborn, you pull out that monster reborn, bust it after you use this card, threw it in uh, in your graveyard so that you're able to get that card back, or if you have something lined up, like one of uh, your deck engines working, where you're able to summon from the graveyard and keep flipping cards over, right? So I, I get it, but I don't feel like they really needed to nerf this card. And that's my own opinion. Uh, part of Desire, it's been two for a minute. Across the board, OCG, TCG, it's cool that they're actually bringing it down to regular standards, in my opinion. Uh, let me know your opinion. Uh, banish 10 cards from the top of your deck face down. Draw two cards. You can only activate one part of desires per turn. Right? And then we go on Temptish Dragon, Ruler of Storms. Uh, you can discard this card and one wind monster from your graveyard. Add one dragon monster from your deck to your hand. You can banish a total of two of two wind and or dragon monsters from your hand and or graveyard. Special summon this card from your hand or graveyard during your opponent's end phase if you control this special summon card return it to the hand and if this card is banished you can add one wind dragon monster from your deck to your hand you can only use one times dragon ruler of storms effect per turn and only once that turn i agree with ocg and tcg there should only be one of these in a deck uh, it's cool that they're running two because master duel essentially is the counterpart to the TCG, but they are their own entity, they're their own thing, you know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, there's not a whole lot that we could say about it, but I feel like they should follow the TCG. Whenever a card is like this, in my opinion, is like OP as fuck, it should be down to one or straight banned, depending. This, it should be down to one just because it's utilized within decks. If you only have one, that's fine. Uh, for any kind of dragon deck, any kind of uh, what is, uh, wind wind deck or anything like that, so like black wing or something like that, if you wanted to play it, it would be really utilized. And uh, we got Zodiac uh, Turret. Once per turn, you can also exe summon Zodiac Turret by using a Zodiac monster you control with a different name as exe material. <clears throat> if you use an exe monster, any exe materials attached to it also become XZ materials on this card. This card gains attack and defense equal to the attack and defense of all Zodiac monsters attached to this as materials. So like obviously, right? Obviously, I know it's, yeah, it's banned in TCG and OCG just because how how much you could big this card up. You're going to be seeing quite a few of these decks over at Master Duel. I am I'm quite sure of it. I'm quite sure of it. We are going to be seeing some Zodiac decks still. Because even if it's down to one, that's fine. I know uh, I know people that are going to end up running it anyway. Because there is an engine for it, right? It uh, all depends about all your lower monsters that you're going to use as XZ material. And then if you have other cards where you're able to attach them as XZ material to the card, it's just going to keep increasing the attack as you go, right? And then uh, Colbat Sparrow. If this card is special summon, you can add one level 1 winged beast type monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of this card once per turn. A wind XZ monster that was uh, that was summoned using this card on the field as XZ material gains this effect. Your opponent cannot target this card. So it's kind of cool that they ended up knocking that down. Right? I'm pretty sure they knocked it down. Yeah. Cards to be unlimited. One to three, two to three, and then okay, so these ones are get are coming back. So like yeah, you're gonna end up seeing Zodiac that's I got confused there. My bad. Because we were just talking about the ban list. These ones are uh pulled off ban list pretty much. Cards to be unlimited. One to three, two to three. I understand you're gonna be seeing that combo quite a bit, I feel. Uh let me know if you feel the same way about it. Essentially, this is what it is. Take a look. Uh, look down here at what people are saying about it, right? I, I know that there's a whole conversation and argument going on down here right now. Uh, they got the wrong math mech. I've, I've seen some people talking about that already. 
Uh, one is rare, the other is a, is a ultra rare. Konami, spelled wrong, aren't in the business of giving out free ultra rares. Uh, you smoke a weed if you think uh, Ragno is fine to be in the game at any capacity. That's their opinion. And like this is what the whole argument down here is talking about, right? And then, as usual, the floor is ultra rare. All y'all look alike. Uh, right, Math Mech. That's what he's saying. It's the proper one. Konami really want Math Mech to become a mini engine, which I agree with. That's what it looks like they're trying to do. Because it's, it's going to shift the way how the game is played. It's going to be shifting all the decks, so on and so forth. And uh, we're probably going to have a whole new field. But we will still have like the pearlies, all those, salad and greats, all that. We will still have those decks, but it's not going to be as dominant. Uh, it's a joke. Every single gameplay with flow. Uh, I am always hit by Ash and Imper. What the fuck? Yeah, facts. And those are cards that you're able to replace the missing cards that have been banned already. And also, they're having, if you do play on uh, Master Duel, Dismantling. Old cards that were moved to semi-limited, limited, or forbidden will gain users a 20-point craft point bonus. Regardless of card finish, the number of times the bonus can be granted corresponds to the reduction of maximum copies of the card per deck due to limit forbidden list. So only three times per, right? Uh, for example, if an unlimited card is moved into being limited, uh, that is two cards reduced. Meaning players can get the bonus to up to two times only. So yeah, pretty much that's all it is. Duelist Cup events are coming up. Uh, yeah, no, that's pretty much about it. Let me know what it is that you guys feel about, like how you guys feel about this bad list going forward into December. You already know that there's going to be a couple tournaments popping off. Are you going to be taking part of that? Let me know down in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit me up on any one of my other social medias down in the description below. And yeah, I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.